We're about to bring the shawl in. We're gonna get the chickens from the A-frame to the chick shawl. When you move chickens, you wanna make sure you move it at night and let them sleep in their new coop overnight. And that way, the next day, they'll know what to come back to. You want to catch that one, Josiah? What one? The one right behind oh. you. Did somebody want to man the door? Lily! Lily! You want to come help us? <laughs> She's got some fireflies. Okay. Jonah and I'll Josiah. You'll man the door? Okay. Come on, Jonah. You and I will catch him. He'll man the door. That was the easy part. What's the hard part? Getting this A-frame out of here. One, it doesn't roll good. Two, we gotta roll up this hill. <laughs> Three, we gotta go through these, this fence, that fence. Four, we need to get way out there towards where we're gonna put the guineas in it. So it's way out of sight of them so they don't wanna come and find it and stay in it. Let's see if I can move this, Papa. You're not moving it today, are you? I have to move the apron today. See if you can move it, Jonah. Okay. You could manage. Yeah, I can manage. You're in a pit now. Okay, Josiah, Jonah, go push on that end, please. I can use all the help I can get. One, two, three. Is it working better than you thought, Papa? That's going easier than I thought. You get this net out of the way. It's been sitting there a while. Will seem to work. Gotta go uphill and through that grass, and then I think we're good. As long as the wheels stay intact. Three. Yeah. Oh. It's a good day to have a good day. So tighten up your laces and be on your way. It's going really, really good. So easy to push what's around flat mode ground. Josiah, that went cray cray easy. All we gotta do is put our fences back and we're done. Let's see how they're doing now. Oh, look at that. Boy, you guys are natural. Nobody has to tell you to get on a perch, do they? Evenly spread, not misbalancing the chick shaw. Now that looks like Justin Rhodes' farm. That was last night. We put the chickens up for the first time in their brand new chick shaw 2.0. I see you guys haven't flipped it. Throwing the grain on the ground to encourage tilling. This is a future garden spot. It's gonna be a cage fight. Go ahead. Old chickens. They're a little calmer about it, huh? It's about as rough as they usually are now. Oh look. oh look, they're able to get in the dust box. I wondered about that. Oh, this is a neat way to take the swivel bar down. Then you don't even have to lift the lid. Nope. Need hay in this one. Oh, they probably laid some in the dust box. Oh boy, it's just a free range party out here, isn't it? Their pastured poultry pen is way too close to that fence. It is getting on top, jumping right over. We're gonna get them moved. Hey, these big girls are getting out of here. We wanna make sure the big adults over there go back in their coop at night, are good and trained to that, then we'll put these bigger chicks over there with them. Look at what the kids have built. I just love this. You're creating your own toys with scrap wood take from the chick shop. Mm -hmm. This is their barn. Show them how the door shuts, Lily. You got sliding. Sir, a cat goes here. There's a sliding here. door here too. That's cool. A cat go and here, how you and a it. mama cat go here, and... Oh! 
That's what happens, Laurel. When you pull down the milk jug. Uh oh, Papa. Cat done jumped onto the roof. <laughs> Papa Do a midday check on these guys. See how they're enjoying the chick shop. I'm so happy about that. Somebody, somebody is nesting. Somebody else is laid away. Are you kidding me? You guys don't miss a beat. Anybody under here for shade? Look who's under there. It's hot. I mean, there's so many multi functions on this thing. The coop itself is their shade house. Look, they can go underneath it and get some shade. <laughs> the handle becomes the prop for the roof. The door is also the ramp inside the house. It's a good system, very proud of that system and how it's coming along. We have some chiddlers who know how to turn a problem into a solution. They're soaking wet. They have a sprinkler from the slashed hose. Yeah. Way to go, kids. A lone one. The only one brave enough to come out in this heat. Yes. I'm gonna give them some more food. It's hard to get them to eat that powdery stuff. We're not soaking their feed because we're doing an experiment. Fermenting, that's what we did last run. We're gonna do it dry this time. Our, I believe our chickens weighed a half more pounds on average being fermented, but to be sure we're gonna do a test without it, so here we are. I guess we'll leave you to eat that. Because if we leave it long enough, they'll eat that powdery stuff. We've got to give them a little more just to make sure it lasts to the end of the day. We're now on some evening chores. Something has been happening to our tomatoes. Look, let me show you. You keep an eye on it. You keep an eye on it. We found the corporate. We had some suspicion. Look, look at this destruction. Now these weren't very healthy, but absolutely destroyed. Even down to the stock, another one right here. Look, but then that one's untouched. We asked our member area, we said, what do you think this is? It's like crazy, is this? And uh, they said, it's a tomato hornworm. It looks so gross. That thing so, is like absolutely disgusting. So we sorted it. So we, uh, Rebecca's been on the hunt. I've been seriously looking for this thing. Your precious tomatoes. He didn't. Whoa. Hold oh, on, Gideon. Don't touch it, ooh. He didn't. <laughs> He didn't eat any more of those tomatoes over there and he walked past all of these tomatoes <laughs> to come to this one. Like, it's super strange. Oh, Now the, they say if the they're damage. healthy, they won't get them. Oh yeah, look. He's damaged So well, I wonder if he's... Oh, don't Stop. knock it off. It's all. right here, honey. It's right here. We'll never find it. Will it hurt me? It's, the horn? Okay, so don't hit the horn. Yeah, can he like peel it back and get me if I... I have no idea. They said that they don't bite, or they said that they do I'm bite. I'm not worried about feet. biting, I'm worried about that horn. They said if it hurts you, it won't, it won't only hurt a little bit. Ooh. No, the chickens will eat it. Yes, they said feed it to the chickens. He's Problem really into a solution. There. I purchased a black light flashlight. I saw, in our member area, somebody put another YouTuber, Roots and Refuge, linked their vlog to our to to that um, thread and she had this black light flashlight that she came out and she was like shining it on there and picking all sorts of them off of them it's crazy yeah, there's I can't... probably more especially as well they're burning it yes that's the horn one poop oh look they said follow the poop oh, there's oh, no. some poop here there's too one right there. oh my gosh there's another one look there's Hold one right there. above the poop ah. so all you gotta do is follow that poop <laughs> That's what Casey said. Casey Oswich said, follow the poop. I want to just do one at a time. Oh. Oh, wow. He ripped it off. Well, that's okay. Oh, look, he's trying to get me with that horn. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> They're so scared. Ready? Turn the problem into a solution. Oh, they're fighting over it. <laughs> Turn that hornworm into an egg. Hey mom, that hornworm will never torment your tomatoes again. 